Um, Durham would be wanting to make sure they're set and they pick the ball on the first opportunity that they possibly can. But as I say, Beeston's patience here. Ball in the circle, attempt on goal, that's hit a body and that's the first penalty corner of the game. Yeah, Gareth Griffiths, uh, the ball entered the D, it was a bit in the air, but uh, he managed to get it under control and his, um, I don't think he the D, but I wonder whether the inj injection's a bit too slow really, it needs to come out quicker than it has there. A little bit more pace there, low, there we go. and that's the end result, and that's an excellent start to the game, talk us through it. Well, I think the, the prospect of getting three short corners on the bounce is, is a good one. Side. Here we go again, ball into the D. Oh no, no, it's gone wide. to the left, and that's towards the baseline. Neat this, and that's found a foot, surely. This is uh, something that Durham will have to work on. Uh, their, their coach, I'm sure, Jamie Castro, will be looking at that, being low and set in the D, because it's, if it's to stay the same, they might actually use one of the moves. There's one to the, uh, through Josh Pavish to the right, and it's gone to the other castle. Willard's low, and that is a second for Beeston. Well, yes, they, they went for the for the other castle, which is the furthest one away from the injector, and changes the angles for the... I think there's a little bit of excess connection between yeah. the two yes. players, two sets of players. Here we go, quickly into the circle again. Can this be fashioned into a shooting opportunity? That was fired wide of the upright. I think he had a bit more time than, yeah. he, than he had. Yeah, he, he created quite a bit of time, actually. I think Durham would have wanted to... Serverton as well. Yes. And into the circle, Skills. by the way, that's uh, fleshed in. Goalkeepers in the right place at the right time again. Fired towards the goal. Not this time. Chaos in the circle. Umpire right on it. It's still a beast and ball. Well, everybody's having a, a dip at that. The uh, pocketed. And beast and come over halfway, and there's a little bit of something there. Yeah, Alex play. Bluefield's fought through that. That's loose. And there's a penalty, penalty corner. corner. Yeah. Well, an interesting one, really, because Henry Croft running with the ball, though, it had got a bit ahead of him, um, but he's with any goals, obviously, but uh, you've got to get those goals to get um, to get your points. Turn into the circle, low angle, and that is a third. That is the third that Beeston were looking for. That's Henry Croft. And a terrific low finish, and that is the goal from open play that they've been looking for. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, it's now and next week against Brooklyn that they need to increase their goals and, and obviously get the points tally higher. I must say that that's not the guarantee at the moment as the visitors look to go on the attack again. Fired low and that's a very corner. close. Yes. How shape. Um, but they will be looking for a goal and they've done that quite nicely. They've been quite organised in their build-up play. They've got the ball through the middle. Here's another it. chance. Have they earned and a there's a corner. Yes, they have earned a penalty corner there. First of the game. So we get to see who is the likeliest taker and what they've got from this important players taking a step back. There's a little bit of movement there. Yeah. It's low. It's gone through everybody, and that's still being played on. And it's a repeat penalty corner. Yeah, that's hit a to Beeston players' legs somewhere on the way through, and um, the umpire giving the optimum. He's making his first appearance for Durham University this season. See if they do the same again. And they have. Dobison. And that's an excellent save. Excellent save from Simon Hushwan. Well, he's watched that and he's, he's seen it all the way through and been able to get his... Quickly out. And that's Ooh. hit the crossbar. It was beat. And yeah. he has absolutely hammered that up and across the crossbar. That was travelling at some pace. And uh, thankfully, for Beast, from Beeston's point of view, slightly... Yep, showed too much of the ball to the um, advancing Durham player and look at the space they have now. Veeds on the left-hand side of the circle. Could this be that moment? It has been turned in for the first goal of the season from open play from Durham University. Well, we've been talking the game up from Durham's point of view and that's been coming from... They've got a long corner though. In fact, that is the final whistle. We're a tiny bit uh, ahead of time here. So it is a final score. Beeston with three points in the bag for the first time in the 2020-2021 Premier Division.